right, YouTube, welcome back to episode two of Time to Talk. I know this has been kind of a delayed video, but with this topic, I feel like it's like the perfect time to speak about this. And this is one of the biggest topics I feel in the industry, not just kind of the physical media industry, but in all industries. Everyone that collects or buys something is going through this, right? How to survive the scalper crisis. It's not even about apocalyptic stuff now. It's about surviving scalper crisis. And it is fairly easy. Um, guys, before I get into it, uh, go check out my very first um, Time to Talk and some other previous videos. Get a feel of the channel. Um, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell notification button so you know when I'm dropping content. I just recently dropped the Blu-ray Tuesday. Go check out what I got. Also, like and comment below. Let me know what you think about the discussion, what I have to say about it. Um, I like to press buttons, but, I mean, you know, you got to keep it real. So, essentially, right, let's, let's talk about the scalper prices. So, we've been noticing that a lot of releases, primarily steelbooks, but, you know, sometimes you have, like, the slip covers. When they come out, sometimes they don't even hit the store because the pre-orders have sold out. And by the time release day comes, there's nowhere to be found except for the aftermarket eBay, Macari, Amazon, all these other places, the secondary places, in which we all know that the prices are higher than retail, obviously. Now, sometimes the prices are a little bit higher, but there's nothing astronomical. But what we've seen lately with the Who Framed Roger Rabbit and Halloween Kills, I've seen Halloween Kills sell for $155. That's essentially five times the retail price. So we have to go into this conversation of, scalpers surviving the scalpers the aftermarket and to be very honest i used to be like you know i damn scalpers blah 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 i don't blame the scalpers anymore because the scalpers market is only based on what is being sold the price in which it reached now a lot of these um auctions i'll say because i'd be on ebay a lot these auctions are actual auctions sometimes most of the time i feel like they have buy nows but sometimes you'll lose out on buy nows um, as a seller because you make and get more. So they put it as bids. And when you see these bids go up, these are people that are actually bidding on the product, right? So when something first comes out and it hits the aftermarket, the first couple, well, actually in the first, but let's say the first couple of auctions, once it ends, whatever price it ends, whoever is the uh, buyer in those those auctions, they're essentially setting the price for what is the value of that movie, of that physical media, or whatever the item is. They're setting the bar for what it is. It may not actually be worth that, but it's setting the bar. And then others come and say, oh, hey, it's being sold for this, so it must be worth this. A Best Buy still book, and it's, it's been more than one, a Best Buy still book is selling for the price of premium import titles. Now, to each their own. If you want it and you're willing to pay for it, it's cool. But you also cannot complain about prices. You can't complain about, you know, um, th them knocking up prices, right? Now, if you're a person that's not spending that, then sure, you can actually say things. And I, too, will complain sometimes or just be like, you know, I see the prices are creeping up. But to me, if you're a person that is buying the 100 $120 Best Buy releases that came out as $27.99 or even $34.99, and then you're paying $120, $130, you really can't complain too much about if Best Buy decides to say, hey, we're going to make this Resident Evil $42.99, right? Because you've already paid way above markup for something else. Now, again, we get what we want. Nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, we do have to understand and kind of value what it is that we're buying. Because, and this is just my personal opinion, this is not fact, just my opinion. For me, when I start seeing prices like that and it's going into the prices of Manta Labs, Blue Fans, and then I look and compare the releases, in my personal opinion, there is no comparison, right? When I get an import title, I'm getting lenticular, I'm getting amazing... Um, Full, um, full slips that have texture, material, you know, and for me, that calls for a little bit more 
in price and I'm used to paying that because I get that because I get the cards and all this other stuff and that's not to push down any other releases what it is is when you look at a release and you see what you're getting you kind of know why you're paying the price you're paying because you have all these additive things now some of the stuff may not be worth what is being added so like when they add like uh, Resident Evil if they're adding cards and stuff and it's like okay I don't see what the cards is worth that extra you know eight to ten dollars then you wouldn't pick it up because you don't feel that what was in your release was worth it but at the same time when you miss out on something again, personally me and my dog agrees I don't me personally I don't mind going to maybe like sixty dollars if I missed out on a, a blu-ray 4k still but from Best Buy but when we get five times the price, I've bought a one click from Kim Chi less than what I've seen Halloween Kill sell for. In my book, that's crazy. But again, it's teach its own because you have to collect what you want. My thing is that if you go back to my second video, I always say patience. We've now seen this with a couple of still books that has sold out and eventually came back. Yeah, you had to wait, but it came back. Who Framed Roger Rabbit came back, you know, huge. Um, Knives Out came back. Now, more than not, they do come back, but there are some that just has not come back. Um, Blade Runner 2049 came back. But there are some that may not come, but it's very few. So, I guess my tip is, hey, if you see a release that you really want, pre-order it. As soon, soon as you see it, just pre-order it. So... It, and it's not guaranteed you're going to get it, but it's going to increase your chances of getting it instead of waiting two weeks, three weeks before, and then all of a sudden that coming soon is just not changing, and then all of a sudden it's just sold out, and then now you're kicking yourself. So, one, if you have the ability to do so, pre-order. Um, and, and the community is great. There's a lot of people that um, are helping people get uh, still books that they can't get, the Discord that uh, 4K D-Ray and Michael Podcast started. Um, and you have other individuals that are like, hey, I've had people hit me up and say, hey, I'm getting this. Do you want me to grab your copy? You know, this is what the community is for, to help each other kind of get the releases so we don't have to go to those aftermarket prices. Um, but it just needs to be said that the aftermarket prices are dictated based on what the sellers decide they're willing to pay and value that item. And so it's hard to be a buyer that is contributing to those astronomical prices but then complaining about other prices I, it, it doesn't go hand in hand but all in all my opinion just my opinion only obviously collect what you like try and get what you can get when you can get it but definitely be patient there is a very good chance that these things come back um, I do kind of believe that we're going to get Dune back and we may get Halloween Kills now you know they're doing this kind of first print second print it's up to you whether you care so much about, you know, getting the first print or not. But even then, I'm, I'm seeing prices of Halloween Kill come down. There's a buy now, right now, for like $79 on Macari. As opposed to the $155 I've seen it sold the first month it came out. Consistently, I was seeing Halloween Kill sell for at least $130 plus. Five times its value, its retail value. For a movie that was not very well recepted by the public go figure i don't know but i just figured this is kind of a decent topic to jump on in light of what's going on um and and this is going to continue right we're going to get a bunch of steel books coming out they're going to be i'm sorry my my dog is playing with a toy and she's like going crazy and licking but nonetheless so it's it's going to happen we're going to get still books are going to come they're going to sell out who knows but this spider-man no way home um it's been saying coming soon for for a while it kind of changed like a month or so ago but it's been coming soon for a while, so who knows? I mean, I assume because Spider-Man, they've probably made a good amount. Um, but nonetheless, we're going to have to see. Um, there's some good still books coming out. Um, if you are into collecting, it is a great time to be a collector. Um, but, yeah, have patience, guys. Have patience on these releases. And, you know, as a community, we control how much something is. It's the value of it. And that, go with, that goes with every single community. I collect 1-6 scales. I've seen prices on um, aftermarkets for them as well that can get astronomical. It will only sell with what we pay for.
it's a very simple concept. Very simple. If we say that this still book that just sold out, the most I'm going for is seventy dollars, then seventy dollars will be the value in which the still book's going for would sell for. So if you have a bunch of uh, uh, sellers that are trying to get a hundred, one hundred twenty dollars, they're just going to be sitting on product. And as you see in eBay, tons and tons of listings are just sitting there because they have unrealistic buy nows now some people would jump on it maybe but i've seen so many listings that just stay there and the moment you put it on your watch list within five to ten minutes later you get a best offer they, they change hey you want to take it for this price i've had a guy drop down 40 bucks 40 bucks when you do that you let me know automatically that you know it wasn't it was too high but you're trying to say it's on bites right and i mean can you really blame them no because people bite that that's the thing so i just figured this is a real quick kind of topic to jump on it's a big topic that's always surrounding the community it has us even even buying things that we may not want or we may are on the fence on whether we want it but we know that if we wait a little bit it won't be there i've done that myself we're with even with other stuff outside of movies i'm like do i really want this but i know that in the next week or two depending on what you're buying it will not be there and there's a good chance that is going to skyrocket. So again, we can kind of control the market. We set the value based on how we spend our money. So let's you know, let's kind of control a little bit better. Let's find ways to to help others get it without having to go crazy. Um, and it's some, like I said, some great people in this community that will help you kind of get it. I will help. You know what I mean? So um, definitely use your resources. Definitely be patient. Be on the lookout. Um, follow everybody on Instagram. We see people on live streams and on uh, YouTube and stuff. Follow them because we're constantly putting out when something pops up. Um, Jerry, my man Jerry hit me up and let me know that the Who Framed Roger Rabbit was open. I immediately jumped on it, ordered it. It was shipped today. So you have a bunch of people in the community that's always throwing notifications out so that you know that you're in the know and you have a chance to grab it because I think Who Framed Roger Rabbit sold out again. It's gone. So... Um, definitely keep up, follow people, follow, look at their contents. They're, they're constantly giving you information and they put out great content. Um, other than that, that's it. I just wanted to jump on and kind of give a quick one on uh, this topic. I know there's probably so much more I can say, but I just want to kind of keep it brief. Also, this Thursday, it's going to be big. This Thursday, 4K D Ray is having the battle and it's going to be tag team. It's going to be me and Alex Thomas versus Movies with Ryan and Ben Buster. Okay, we're going straight back to the wrestling days. It's for the ch- It's for all the chips. We're going to bring in heat, so make sure you're there to check it out. It's going to be a good one. Both sides got a lot of heat. And, you know, got some, they, they got some secret stuff. I know this. So we got to come strong. But definitely come support the battles. It's amazing. Meet new people in the community. And just have fun. And, guys... Support everybody, man. Everyone, we do the same stuff. Somewhat, we have different stuff, but we do it. But we add a different twist to it, a different flavor to it. But let's just support everyone. That's what we're here for. To hear, have fun, and continue physical media. So, guys, I hope you have a good one. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think about this topic? What do you think about my ideas, my opinions? That my my opinion on this matter. Um, agree or disagree? Let me know. I love to discuss, and I will catch you guys on another episode. Boom.